So I want you guys to talk about the spool tech. I mean, I've heard a lot about the spool tech. I see pictures on Instagram. I see people posting pictures of fish with snook all over them. What What's the big craze about these spool techs, guys? Explain I mean, them to me. You really have almost a three-fold advantage with the spool tech. You got concealed leader technology, so your fish can't see the leader. You can fish a lighter leader and get away with it. If you snook, you know, they have that sandpaper mouth. They would fray through a normal, even 60, 80 pound, they could fray through, but this. So what is this right is here? Straight wire. This is cable? Cable, cable yeah. And so how, how does it work though? Like when a fish hits it, how does it uh, detach and everything? So once the fish you eats. Show them with another one. Yeah, once Let's the see. fish eats and the hook gets caught, you set the hook and it just pulls out. Ah, that's ingenious. So the fish, because so normally. pull out, but we don't. Nor <laughs> Basically. Normally cable would really uh, shy away snook, right? They're very yep. leader shy fish. Yep. But and the so beauty now, of the spool tech is, you know, you just wind it up right here, right? And you wind it back in. And your hook stays in here and then the cable pulls out. And what do we know about snook? They have very uh, rough abrasive mouths, mouth. abrasive mouths. It allows you to fish a lot lighter leader. Because when you fish the spool tech, right? Let's see if we got another one here. So here we got a baby spool tech. When you fish leader, you want to fish as light leader as possible for these snook because they're very leader shy. So this allows you to fish a lot lighter leader because when the hook pulls out, boom, snook's going to be hooked right there in the corner of the mouth and you got your cable here, but your main line's going to be attached to right there, right? So what would you guys fish on a typical night with the spool I would tech? fish around 50, 50, 40 to 60. Sometimes I'll go up to 80 if I'm around structure. But another advantage that isn't really talked about is your weight now in the swim bait is up here. It's not in, this is a traditional swim bait. Your weight is right here on the hook. So when a fish comes up to shake with this style bait, it's got all that weight, it's wiggling around, it digs a bigger hole in the fish's mouth, and when they come up to shake, it pops out. And I've lost a lot of fish on those, and now with these spool techs, I mean, this weight's up here, they can't shake it off as easily. So you're tight the entire time, yep. is what okay. you're saying. And my hookup ratio has actually gone up probably, I'd say, around 50% versus so your normal. So, this is Ryan bait. talking right now. So you told me, Alec, that actually you have an entire box of these storm swim baits, traditional weight-in-the-body swim baits. How many fish would you say you've landed on these? On like these, I've landed probably 10 at most. Out I mean, of how many fish do you think you've hooked? 50 to 60. 50. So we're talking oh, one in five, one in six. Yeah. As opposed to the spool tech, what would yeah, you say I the mean, ratio the is? The ratio is hook probably to land. like four out of six. Four I'd out say. of six. That's a lot better ratio. Way better ratio. And then uh, also, what'd you guys say? These spool techs, these the tails, tails, they it, pop out. I mean, if you lose this part of the tail, they sell replacement tails. You can put it back on. I've even mixed match tails. Like I've ran out of the tail once and I'll just put a different color, hell, it still works perfectly. Yep. So basically you could say that you could fish the same head all night long and you're, all you're telling me is you just f switch the yep. tail out? They won't chew through the head. This is a hard plastic. They'll only chew through the tail and they give you an extra tail actually in the package when you first buy it. But and that's mm. a big problem with swim baits. A yep. lot of times They'll you'll have a right fish, you'll have a rip right here and then it just won't swim right, right? Yep. And you yep. gotta throw the whole swim bait like away. This one ripped right here. I mean, they, they rip pretty often, so. I mean, you're paying 20 bucks for a lure, but you're getting really, 10 of these and then the hookup ratio is way better so would you say i mean what what are these retail around around 20 dollars yeah 19.99 19.99 but would you say they're worth it like how many fish on average could you catch on one lure i mean as many until you bust the head which i've never busted the head and the only other time i've lost them is in a rock so and how much could people buy these tails for five bucks for three five bucks all right so that's good and that's would you say these tails are more durable than a regular yeah they bait? are they're actually much more durable i mean look at these tear really easily these are a little bit harder plastic but they still wiggle even more than these i mean there's more this is the nine inch stretch and it just it gets an awesome wiggle to it and the fish can't resist it and this has you know a much smaller wiggle but okay they both have a time and a place uh, my name is Ryan Mori. You can follow me at Juno Ryan on Instagram. And my name's Alec Mejias. You can follow me on Instagram as well, SanderM23. And yeah. That's and don't a forget bit about to like, fishing. comment, and subscribe. If yep. you have Land Shark Fishing TV. Yeah. Let us know what you guys want to see, and we'll be happy to help you with that. Maybe a little live bait episode. Who knows? Yeah, you never know. Don't forget to comment below. We read those comments. Please yeah. comment below. We will make videos for you guys. Guys, right? if you like the video, like the damn video. Like the damn video. And we'll yeah. see you all in the very next video.